Well, air volume, subscribe off finale VAV pre-commissioning checking and startup procedure 1. Visual inspection to ensure that all DDC panels, sensors, actuators and other system devices are installed as per the approved point list, schematic drawings and specifications. 2. Check the wiring of field devices with DDC panel is correct and completed. 3. Set the MAC address in controller using DIP switch. 4. Supply the power to the DDC controller. 5. Connect the DDC controllers to the MSTP network. 6. Assigning the software addresses to the DDC controllers. 7. Save the DDC controllers and their properties to the configuring database. VAV Testing and Commissioning Procedure 1. Configure the input-output settings in the DDC program 2. Download the DDC program to the DDC controller. 3. Check the space temperature and set point through thermostat. 4. Check the modulating action of the VAV damper actuator as per the required cooling set point of temperature. 5. Check communication of all the VAVs from the building management system supplier and and it should be able to access all the data points of each VAV controller through BMS graphics. Commissioning Checking and Startup Procedure 1 Visual inspection to ensure that all DDC panels, sensors, actuators and other system devices are installed as per the approved point list, schematic drawings and specifications. 2. Check the wiring of field devices with DDC panel is correct and completed. 3. Set the MAC address in controller using DIP switch. 4. Supply the power to the DDC controller. 5. Connect the DDC controllers to the MSTP network 6. Assigning the software addresses to the DDC controllers 7. Save the DDC controllers and their properties to the configuring database. VAV Testing and Commissioning Procedure 1. Configure the input-output settings in the DDC program 2. Download the DDC program to the DDC controller. 3. Check the space temperature and set point through thermostat. 4. Check the modulating action of the VAV damper actuator as per the required cooling set point of temperature. 5. Check communication of all the VAVs from the building management system supplier and and it should be able to access all the data points of each VAV controller through BMS graphics.